Why, hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your hosting guide, Zolan Iron Shield. Quick, fun little update of what, what's been going on in our Rise to War season. Uh, we're getting near the end. I know a lot of you have really been asking me for some more PvP oriented videos for Rise to War. And again, I just quick little update from our Rise to War viewers. Um, I haven't been making many of any video in the last few weeks because my computer died. Um, but again, that's not a, that's not relevant if you're watching this video in the future. Uh, but it's back and everything's set up again. So I will try to do that best I can. But the PvP this season has been um, it's been decent early on, but now it's at the point where there is some awesome combat. But every time I get there, the the, the border the battle moves. So I'm trying to get to this spot. I'm almost there. Um, I'm going to try to make some combat videos, at least if it's not this month, it'll be next month um, for you guys. I try to make just a few of Rise to War videos uh, a week. I mean, not a week, a month for you guys. I try to do around 8 to 10. Um, and then, I, of course, do all my other content for my regular viewers of other things like Lotro, Return to Moria, Battle of Middle-Earth, that kind of stuff. Um, we got lots of those coming, too. So if you're a Lord of the Rings fan, you like Lord of the Rings games in general, you might want to subscribe. Anyway, so basically the combat has been pretty cool. We've been pushing um, pretty much. It's been now we're just kind of in PvP mode because we're kind of getting to the end of the season. As you can see, we have pretty good control over Dual Door. Now, i got to say still with this season, it's a little weird to me that our capital started as Isengard when we're Arnor. And I know they did that from a risk perspective. So again, all you watching this know this. But this game is really like... A risk game right um overall i'm gonna put some background music on because the game's not doing it so i'll do it um basically normally it would be a numinos is our capital but i think it was just too close to linden and they felt like it was kind of rubbing shoulders and i agree now the weird thing for me is why did they not just remove arnor and keep isengard as the faction i think that has to do with the fact that a lot of people don't play isengard and i'm so sorry to my few of my viewers who are like i love isengard i i know i i feel like i feel like you've been robbed though i understand arnor is a very highly played faction so they were probably like more people are getting angry at us if we remove the arnor faction entirely so we're just gonna move them down there and get rid of one of the least played factions as isengard kind of a bummer the reason i think isengard was always not played as much too in this game is that if you think about it from risk board is that a very good starting point for your capital when originally Arnor started here, Linden started here, right next to you is Rohan, and then right here used to be Lothlorien, they actually moved it up here, their their capital, or uh, not that one, up higher. And they've moved stuff around at Gondor. You are so tightly squeezed, if you were in a massive group, fellowship and faction, it was very hard to not just get ran over by like four factions. And it wasn't like people ganged up you on purpose. You're just in their way. They literally need to walk through the door of the Gap of Rohan. And three factions are like, well, we don't mean to be mean to you guys, but we got to get to the rigs. So we're going to run you over. <laughs> um, I think that was happening a lot. And also their super unit wasn't that great. I felt some people really liked it. I don't want to say it, but um, overall, yeah. So anyway, side note there. But... It's been pretty awesome, combat and stuff. I've been uh, working on, um, we had a battle with uh, Linden over the ring because we were kind of, it was kind of like us and Linden versus the elves, Angmar, Rune, and Gondor, and Rohan. Basically, we're all fighting us. Um, so, and I think that balanced it out with numbers, but... Um, yeah, I mean, we kind of own the world still. Uh, but, I mean, Rune is very powerful. And, I mean, Erebor held their own. I gotta say, um, these Angmar and Lit Lothlorien have not ever given up. And neither has Gondor or Mordor or Rohan. Even though they're smaller groups, they have not stopped fighting. There has always been fighting um, pins at those locations. And those go away if it's not recent fighting in the last, like, 24 hours or two days or something. Um, this battle has been going on for 16 days. Continuous for 16 days. That's crazy. 2.3 million soldiers have fought. 722,000 have died. This one's been four days. 8 million. 2.8 million. It's terrible. Now, again, these are all fake, obviously. 
But um, it is kind of cool that they actually give statistics of what's going on in that area with combat. So anyway, that's pretty much about it with this season. Uh, it's been really fun. Again, um, I really like this group that I'm a part of. They're really chill and really relaxing, and I appreciate it. Basically, right now, we're banned. But I think there originally was Lord. I think. Uh, <laughs> off the top of my head. But anyway, um, they, they are really, really nice, and uh, they're pretty chill. So, um, yeah, I'll just hang out with them. Um, I was, obviously, remember, leading for a while a group, but... I just that's just too much. I really li I like Rise to War. It's a fun side thing. I know there's some people that are like, oh, it's a phone game, blah 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 blah. Well, I'd like to just point out for Rise to War. Yes, there are some things that maybe you know are the phone gameish, like some pay to win aspects and stuff. Absolutely, but when it comes to phone games like this, Rise to War on on my threshold, I've played a bunch of the phone games. I played them. One of them I played for like two years, and I didn't put money into it. I just played it free to play, and it was it was all. I just like got really tired of it and stopped playing it. And there was a lot of other ones I tried, and they were just all the same copies of the, each other. Rise to War actually isn't. It's not a copy of the other ones. There's some similarities on certain things, but the way the combat works, the way you take tiles, the way you move around, it's less of like you just build stuff in your base and then. The map actually matters more, let's put it that way, um, that I've seen than a lot of other games like this. And other games are like, as much as this one's complicated, other games are so confusing to learn. And I'm like really fast on the draw usually with learning a new game, but I have played other phone games and it's like, what the heck? And other phone games have so much in your face, like on the screen. Rise to War just has this thing down here and that has your word thing, your resources on the top, right? And then like this thing over here, right? And then, like, this is what you need. This is part of the game over here on the left, how you control your commanders. I have this other game that I play. There's, like, this at the top, and it goes all the way to here. And then there's another level here, and then some pop up here. And, it's like, a third, a, a third of the screen is covered with, like, advertisements and dots, right? On the phone that's already tiny. So, Rise to War doesn't do that. Overall pretty darn good game i really hope the devs in this game i'm i'm rooting for them that they keep it like this um i know that some people were a little upset with the 2.0 update but um now that i look back i will say as much as i like the original one i think 2.0 is very fun um it still feels different than all those other phone games and um if you want to play this game just to have fun taking tiles and learning about the commanders you can completely play that free to play now when it comes to pvp if you don't put in a little bit, which I have some guide videos on, you could do certain little things just to earn a little bit. And you can earn stuff every season. Like, I have a lot of stuff. Like, I say a third, third of my gear and respect is earned because I've been playing so many seasons, right? Um, but, again, I'm at a happy point where, like, I put in a tiny, weeny little bit of money occasionally. Like, I'm talking, like, a dollar a week, maybe. Um, but, really, I, I don't really spend anything on this game this whole last season. And um, I just enjoy playing it. I have the stuff I want. I have the few groups I want. I have a fun fellowship team I found. That's really what matters. It's it's um, it's pretty cool. Now, again, the game's not going to be for everyone, right? Just like any game, right? I say that about any game I cover on the channel. I cover a lot of genres. And, uh, you know, Return to Moria, survival game. Fantastic, insanely great Lord of the Rings game. Highly recommend you check it out as well. But it might not be for you if you're not a survival game player. Or Lord of the Rings Online. One of the best MMOs I've ever played, and I've played like 15 and it's still insane and it's amazing and it respects Tolkien's lore so much but it might not be for you because you might not be an MMO player right so I get it and there's a lot of people who are just phone game players which if you like Lord of the Rings and you like these kind of phone games you might like Rise to War right um I know a lot of my viewers do uh but again but by the way one thing I love about it too is that they have beautiful art and they have the most gorgeous art look at the look at this look at that art absolutely gorgeous um Really, really nice. Uh, and then also they have the rights to all the, like, New Line Cinema stuff. So that it's fun that you see people and they actually look like, you know, the actors. Which is really cool. Uh, so anyway, with that said, it was a great season. I got a great team. Um, I will say for myself, I did not battle as much as I wish I could have. Um, I also got really, really busy helping with some stuff the last few weeks. And then my computer, bleh. And, um, yeah, but again, I did help with a few battles, but it didn't seem like my team needed me quite as much as I 
maybe he wanted to be able to join it. <laughs> but um, I do appreciate uh, them letting me play with them, though. It's really fun. Um, so, again, have a great day in Middle Earth, my friends. Thank you to my wonderful Patreons for their support. Thank you for watching my videos. And, again, I have many more content. That's not how you say that. But lots more content coming out for you guys of all genres, not just Rise of War. Uh, but I do like this game. So, I do play it. You know, and I had one guy one time, and you guys are going to laugh, okay? If you got to the end of the video, thank you, thank you. You're going to laugh. But I had this guy who was like, he's like, why do you make videos of that game? Blah, blah, blah. Because I enjoy it. <laughs> it's like, I feel like these people are entitled, right? They think they're like, like, you have to make only what I want you to make. It's like... And I know 99% of you are not like that. You're great subscribers. But I'm just, we can all laugh at that one guy together. Um, but yes, so again, but my goal always is on this channel that I'm having fun and you're having fun. So have a great and wonderful day in Middle Earth. And I'll see you in the next videos. Stay happy, my friends.